Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Ace Aid and I'm playing as Ireland on the road to 56, siding with the Axis. As it sounds, we're kind of stuck in this weird waiting to get as much air superiority as we can get away with while the allies do other things. Now, I'm going to scale back some of our gun production and put it into fighters because we need more of them. Let's see, is there a place I can put one? Yes. Let's see now. Yeah, we just don't have the air superiority to land. We need 70% in the western approaches, and we currently only have 46. On the spy front, we have one guy in, we got caught, and try to get him out, should be done by the end of April. We're also trying to infiltrate the Navy. After that, I'm probably going to try going straight into, is it, oh, I already have, I already have that, into creating propaganda just to try and wind them up, or to sit, or whatever. Basically, try and lower their stability a bit, because they're currently quite high. They're currently, what, 3% towards capitulation, because, and that's just from our collaboration government. And the fact that we own both the Isle of Man, control the Isle of Man, and Ulster. Submarine, we need more of these. Thank you very kindly, Italy. Infantry equipment and support equipment. That might be enough to actually make us allow us to create a collaboration government. Another one, anyway. Oh, well, that's our my back. Just waiting for this to complete. Let's stay here on counterinsurgency. Turns a little bit of a hand with some counterintelligence work. We lost one submarine and one convoy for all this. Numbers, I say we're doing surprisingly well. So yeah, we can hold, it's just taking us ages to actually do anything. And start researching um military police to buff these guys up a bit because six of those Or to say, yeah. no, it's not useful, but one less manpower to fill divisions and garrisons. But especially since I can then, if I add military police onto them, I can at least buff that. I have all this XP sitting around doing nothing. Can't use it for much. We're at least disrupting their play. But it's not really much. Just can't recapsulize. I can go with both of these. Mirror support. I'm going to go with Fighter Veteran Initiative because that extra agility for our fighters, that's going to be huge. Which, nope, still can't quite get enough. Crap, we are losing a lot of subs. I get him up. Torpedo expert might be best for him.
Oh. Need compassion and prayer. Oh, the Yanks are trying to land in Greenland. Not sure what this like too bad a division. They're also they're basically dug in in mountainous terrain. Like Yanks think It looks like a pretty decent division, to be honest. In two plus one. Probably getting a bit distracted here, just fourteen two plus one. With support with support engineers as well. Not bad for what they're doing. Twenty four civilian factories. I don't think I'll be doing that one. That is a loss of British units. I'm not sure I can stand toe to toe with that. So basically, I need to help the Soviet, the Germans get rid of the Soviets, and then we can move. Which means I need to get these goddamn things out of the way. Railways. After this 1940s submarine hulls research, I'm going to try and focus on building railways quicker. Oh, they're planning to invade us again. So, because I've got this military police now, I currently need 1.2 garrison divisions to garrison just bits we've taken, which is just the Isle of Man. So if I add military police, let's see what that does now. And that's slightly over one. Let's need 10 support equipment for us. And we'll be we can upgrade that as we go. So mission efficiency, not much use. Let's see. Probably I'll probably just get this anyway because I can get eventually towards air skirmish. Which will buff the air superiority efficiency. It's all quite a way away. We're doing okay there. Still don't have enough superior anything. Eh, red bubbles here. You see, they're dug in, they've got terrain advantage, and their supply's not great, but they also outnumber our side. The only thing I can really do here is just send them. It's just try and build up the supplies, try and keep pushing. Especially see here where supplies not great. We are pushing here. Germans are, and it looks like this supply up here will be full not too soon. Yeah, playing as Ireland, you pretty much have to be a support, like do a support play style here. And so far, I found it to just be a lot more fun playing as the Allies, or just a lot less hassle. Maybe that's just me. 
Right, we finally have a new fighter with some close air support capability. Actually, I'm going to make this just a pure fighter for now because close air support isn't going to be too useful to us. Let's see if I can change this up. That. Of course, we don't we can't really use them at the moment because we have to convert them all the old way. Does help? Not a lot. We're just that heavily outnumbered. Disrupting them. Oh, looks like the Germans might have an encir little encirclement here. Yep, that looks in the day. It's good. And I might as well just continue with the next up. This will buff up the engineers we have. And it's a little bit of a push. These guys have got no supply, so they are. Our side is pushing. It's slow. Oh, and easily push back, but we're getting there. Bottleneck. Yeah, there's just not enough supplies. Enough supplies getting through. Well, there are limits to what I can do. The industry we have. Oh, tut tut, Amsterdam. Good back on us. Naughty, naughty. Well, times. I might just see if I can help out here with. with taking Amsterdam. Eat this area. And of course, they're going to get. Sh you know, I really wish there was a way I could just transport these guys. Guys, by plane. Apparently, that's too sensible. I'm to go to Utrecht. And we don't have air superiority. Some way I can actually force it? No. So do it the old fashioned way, which is going to suck. Oh, another race pilot. Let's see. Let's start up with these because I need cruisers. So having to send the paratroopers in on foot is just such a waste. But well, we can take Amsterdam, probably. Yep, we can pierce their armor and reduce their enemy air superiority. In three days, I think we'll have this. The capital ships. It's Let's see, I think I'll let a little support here into the Hague. Oh perfect, that's like military police. What does this give us? We need less than one division. 
So we need only 10 support equipment for that. Well, I'm actually fine with that. Let's see. Ah, yes, extra org for the paras. Yeah, we have we don't have any air superiority here because all the Allied planes are on the eastern front. We actually have air superiority over the western approaches now. Probably because I pulled the paratroopers out and they saw there wasn't the evil invasion there anymore. Excellent. That's what we'd like to see. Yeah, let's see if we can get Rotterdam. In. Ugh, large river. Still preparing. So you can only buff these guys any further. Perhaps in yeah, I should probably should have given them engineers to begin with. Now you just wait for it to Oh. Right. Uh Well, I think I'm gonna do do some evil evil air landings. From Minsk. Let me try and see if we can take Smolensk, cut off the enemy supplies. Got to do winter clothing, so searching that. 
Let's see. Hmm, I might want to wait until... Actually, maybe I should change this to somewhere else. Wait until there's actually a, a push going on here into Smilane Square, somewhere nearby. So that we can... Or... Do I want to try here? Let's see. Here, that should that should bamboozle them a little bit. Don't want, I do not want you fighting on that entire line. Right, so uh, let's see now. Recon, I'm not sure that's going to be too useful to me. Trenchment. Yes, this I think. That's supply consumption, that's supply truck attrition, that's always good. Ooh, looks like we might have a decent encirclement to go for here. Can't redo really that. Oh, there's an encirclement. That's good. So maybe try and push in here. Take this airfield. And get this out of the way. Uh, nope, that's obviously not going to work. lands on the airfield. Oop, so we start pushing back there. So let's push us here onto this pile. I know we only have two divisions, but if we can get the Ooh, I think I've seen a better place to go. Take this tile, we can try and cut, off, cut them off. To um, improve work conditions to scare Those up even further. Ooh, this may not be working as well as I had hoped. Oh. Just need to hold for four more days, three. Yep, I think this is working. Ooh, having to pull out because we're out of supplies. And we just pull back and do it again. Well, we probably wait. They've done something to them at least. How much have we cause? Almost no damage whatsoever, but All right, put them back out. Get them. Get them re-equipped.
Let's see where. Do need to start. Leading towards special forces, so I probably do need to start doing this. There's organized small arms. It's not like I really need the need the XP, but the research bonus is nice. This though. I want them to be better out, out of supply. They're probably thinking, what? The Irish again? Another seducer who I am going to push in Kazan. Nope. Like they just can't we just can't get them to hold for very long. Oh, Norway has capitulated. So the Scandinavian Council did something there. Oh yeah, they're at war with Norway because Norway are in the Allies. And the Allies attacked Iceland. The world's gone, to, gone a little bit nuts. Oh, perfect. That's another encirclement. Well, that's... A lot of divisions completely trapped. If we can get rid of them, that's one less thing to worry about. Okay, and second thoughts. Well, I want to try taking Talon. Just cutting this area in t entirely. This port, here, this port here looks like it would be a really good place to go for. Though we don't have any air superiority. Let's see now. They're dug in in Tallinn. I wonder if this is worth doing. Let's see. Can I buff these guys any? We make this an 18 width. Much more manpower. As far as about 8,000 manpower and 7,000 support equipment, capability uh, equipment. Why not? It's going to take a while for this to filter through, but I think it's worth doing. Now just to wait for all this stuff to arrive, which is going to take 21 days. This is going to be a pain. I need to start designing a heavy cruiser.
radar try and make it relatively cheap here plus anti-air because there's have enough xp for that as submarine names more is oh, I didn't realize this is taking, taking so long I've been at this for an hour, an hour and a half I've got maybe 30 minutes of gameplay so I'm probably going to take a break here and come back to the next episode so yeah sitting around in my arsenal and just doing nothing so I've sent a couple of divisions abroad to try and lend some some tactical support into um into the Soviet Union. Ooh, on second thoughts I am just going to try and take Skov. And push there you have it. That's gonna be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.